this is me with my medication. I'm nervous, but let this begin. So, squeezing my fat belly. Look how bloated I am. Put this injection in and I'm going to imagine this injection maturing my eggs and making them beautiful and healthy. <sighs> this injection is a bit bigger than the other injection. So that's the end of that. Fingers crossed. Not fingers crossed. We know what's meant to be. And we are just starting the process and all things beautiful and wonderful coming our way. So here's to another step of meeting our baby. Good morning. I am here for the egg collection. I finally got an egg collection date. So I'm doing It's the 22nd of March. Um, update on the embryo situation. 11 embryos. Oh my God. I'm just decided to just keep filming. Um, I stopped filming for a while because I just felt like I didn't like what it looked like in the mirror. Um, and that's obviously a, a, a mental, not health issue, just a mental issue I have. Um, that when I don't feel like I look great, um, I struggle to be active on the socials. And... I might be in a happy place emotionally, but I don't want to put my chubby face on the internet. So I haven't really been filming. Um, I've been going through some health issues and taking hormones and the hormones are not health issues. I've been going through some medical stuff and I have been taking hormones and the hormones make me gain weight. So, um, yeah. And I don't know when I'm gonna stop taking hormones and I'm trying to do everything to prevent me from gaining too much weight, but oh, this is like I got a big vagina here. I do have a vagina, I don't have a big one. What is that? See what happens when you pick when you pick a, a spot. Don't pick a spot, kids. Um yeah, so, oh, like, so these hormones are making me look, these hormones are making me gain weight. Plus, I've already got my own thyroid issue, which doesn't help me in, in like, the venture of losing weight. Um, so, I've just not enjoyed being on camera. And I know people, like, really feel like, you know, if you're going to build an audience, you have to respect your audience and you have to film every um, as per your agreement. And that's why they subscribe. Um, but, yeah, I'm a crap person. Um, if my, if I don't feel like I don't look good enough to be on camera, I just don't do it. So that's a fear that I'm trying to get over and that's why I'm back to filming. Um, also, the hormones really make me emotional and grumpy and sad and all of that so i just didn't want to expose myself so i started painting i started painting because i didn't like to be on camera and i still wanted to be creative and i still wanted to have an outlet to um to have an outlet to say what i'm feeling internally or emotionally at the time so i painted and then i painted some more and then I painted some more. 
And I actually started the painting journey with um, Bayanda. So Bayanda was here and he is like a major artist and we got him paints. And I wanted to encourage him to paint. So I started painting with him. And then he left and I just carried on painting. And then I got more painting stuff and then I got more painting stuff. And then Scott was like, this stuff is actually not bad. And I was like, really? Good morning. This is the Tata Fox Express train. Uh, no, what do I say? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Oh. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tata Fox and this is the Tata Fox Express train. Dang. It's been so long. I haven't done that. Anyway, as you can see, I look very disheveled. I just dropped my kids off at school and I wanted to go to a farm shop. Farm shops are like. South Africa's got farm shops, guys. It's like. It's like a market shop where it's not like a pick and pay. It's more wholesome. It's like fruit and veg. It's literally like fruit and veg. Except the prices are a little bit more expensive than your normal retail, uh, not retail, your normal grocery store. So I wanted to come and look for avocado. I wanted some organic avocados. I wanted some organic ingredients for um, my breakfast. It is 9.17, so it's probably going to be brunch. I also wanted to get some chorizo or some really nice, um, like, peppery sausages. Chorizo, maybe salami, I don't know. But I want some peppery. I've got sourdough bread already at home. So I want to make something really yummy. Um, I don't want to go to a restaurant and eat it. Because I thought, should I just go to a restaurant and eat it? And I thought, no, I want to lie on the couch because today's my day off. Today is my day off because yesterday I edited and I painted and I cleaned ish. So I want to have breakfast and I want to relax and then later on and around. Okay, so the I just recorded and I didn't record. Oh. So, the, so the hospital just called. <laughs> the hospital called and I'm definitely pregnant. Positive. Results came back positive. So I bought this shirt. It says, I'm going to be a big sister. I'm going to be a big sister. I don't even know where to start. Okay. Like, so much has happened. Um, so much is happening. So I think the last time I spoke to you guys, Okay. We went to an ultrasound and we found out that we were having twins. Friends of people and you make them say, boy, boy, you are the baby. You think that you're tough, you go and like you're up. I keep it to the man just to call him black boy, boy. You are the Babylon. <laughs> I really look terrible. I, I just put on the front facing and I just look so little in the face. I just look so swollen. Anyway, guys, I'm here for my... I don't want to look at the camera. I'm here for my... Um, my 20 week scan. I'm excited to see the baby. Hope everything goes well. And then I've got my specialist appointment straight after. I'm really early because I want to get over and done with because I need to go fetch McKenzie from school. I'm hoping to be done by five. It's 3.30. I'm, my appointment's at quarter past four. So, let's see if they'll take me early. That's so much of a better angle. Should I reshoot the whole thing? But the nose, yay. It's not giving what it's meant to give. But it never did.
Okay. I like to